Hello teacher friends. From the CESAR STEM team, we would like to thank you for joining us today as we look at the sustainability module from our Digital Technologies Plus X course. Sustainability is an excellent context to explore a range of career and industry pathways that link with other subjects in the Australian curriculum. We would like to thank the Australian Government Department of Education for funding this session today. I would like to pay my respects to the Ghana people, the traditional custodians of the land on which the University of Adelaide campuses are built, and also to the Yugambeh and Komumeri people, who are the traditional custodians on the land on which I work and live. This quote from version 9 of the Australian curriculum highlights that sustainability is far and wide reaching in its applications and it can provide a rich and authentic context for problem solving and developing solutions with digital technologies. So why learn about sustainability? The Australian curriculum states that young people require the knowledge and skills to engage with contemporary issues such as climate change, biodiversity loss, equitable access to resources, and the preservation of cultural and language diversity. Teachers play a critical role in shaping a more environmentally and socially just world by equipping the next generation with the necessary tools, skills, and mindsets to create a sustainable future by embracing innovation and emerging technologies. The sustainability cross-curriculum priority is based on organising ideas designed to raise students' awareness and understanding of how environmental, social and economic systems interact and contribute to a sustainable future. These organising ideas are presented as four sets under the headings Futures, Systems, Worldviews and Designs. The sustainability cross-curriculum priority has been interwoven into various subjects in the Australian curriculum. In health and physical education, students explore sustainable practices they can implement and identify ways to change their behaviour to support the sustainability of Earth systems. Teaching and learning activities include learning about recycling, composting food waste, creating an edible garden and reducing single-use plastics. In technologies, students learn how sustainability factors influence design and technology decisions. Activities involve exploring how Australian designers consider sustainability when designing products, services or environments. For example, designing products from 100% recycled materials, designing services that use minimal energy or designing landscapes that require minimal water. In science, students learn that science plays a crucial role in making decisions that can significantly affect our environment's long-term health. The sustainability cross-curriculum priority provides context for exploring aspects of our planet, such as its natural systems, how it weathers and erodes, where we get our energy from, and the broader issue of clim global climate change. Students investigate First Nations Australians' valuable contributions in creating sustainable products, environments and services. Content in humanities and social sciences supports students' development of their worldviews and explores ways people use, allocate and manage Earth's renewable and non-renewable resources sustainably. Students learn about the interconnectedness of people with each other and the environment and how First Nations Australians care for country and place. Teaching and learning activities involve identifying the importance of water for sustaining the environment and people, investigating the use of fire by First Nations Australians to manage and protect natural resources. There are many career pathways that combine digital technologies and sustainability. From the people who use technology to monitor our environment, the people who design and develop the technologies, and finally, to the people who purchase, use and dispose of devices. Throughout our online course, we have worked with Refraction Media and Careers with STEM, who are experts in sourcing these fascinating profiles and case studies for us. They highlight a range of people with interesting careers that combine technologies and sustainability. The Careers with STEM website have many more career profiles and resources for teachers and students. Using examples such as these in your class can bring the learning out of the classroom and into the real world. Connecting learning to careers and role models is one of the seven principles suggested by The GIST, the Girls in STEM Toolkit, for a gender-inclusive learning environment. This will engage not only girls, but all students in your STEM classes. They recommend that for each topic, context or problem, it is important to explore STEM-related careers and provide role models. Aim for a gender balance in both historical and contemporary figures. 
Numerous studies have found that providing girls with positive role models has the potential to reduce stereotypical beliefs. Biodiversity tracking is one of the many contexts we have used in our online course that can explore the connections between sustainability and digital technologies. Technological advancements have made biodiversity tracking much easier and more scalable than ever by transforming our ability to keep tabs on plants, animals and the land. Historically reliant on manual methods and human observations, biodiversity tracking with technology now includes satellite imagery, drones and remote sensing technologies, enabling real-time insights into habitats and species and global data and information sharing. Satellites give us the big picture, showing changes in landscape and wildlife habitats from space, while drones scan the skies for up-close shots and real-time updates, often in places that humans cannot easily access. Drones are also making use of AI capabilities, taking thousands and thousands of images or heat map data that are then processed and analysed for scientists and conservationists. For each of the contexts in our online course, we have also included a career profile. Chantelle is a Nurara Woman Ranger Coordinator for the Kimberley Land Council. Her job includes fire management, plant and animal surveying and teaching traditional languages. You can read more about Chantelle in the Careers with STEM Indigenous Issue from 2021 by Refraction Media. One cool project she's worked on was with Shell and the Nurara traditional owners who looked at how jillas, living waterholes and jumus, soak water waterholes, connect with groundwater systems. The rangers used stories and songs from elders to find the waterholes so they could get information on the quality and quantity of water. Additional resources to learn more about this project can be found in the description under the video. Pause here as you think about how you could link the context of biodiversity tracking and caring for country to your classroom learn learning. Consider what other learning areas you could also incorporate into your DT lessons. Science connections can be explored through biology concepts such as identifying the basic needs of plants and animals and studying habitats and conditions for survival. In addition to this, the work of Chantelle and other rangers also build on and add to the work of scientists. Chantelle and the other rangers also use a range of mathematics in their jobs, from counting plants and animals, measuring areas of vegetation, and extracting accurate volumes of water for samples. Her work adds to the vast amounts of data that tracks and records changes to the environment, which is used to inform environmental protection measures. Chantelle's work can be viewed through the lens of how First Nations Australians care for country and place. Evaluating data and identifying patterns and trends is again a key point of the Haas curriculum that can be supported and combined with statistics from mathematics. We are now going to have a brief look at some of the learning activities that we have in our online course that focus on biodiversity tracking. First Nations Australians have developed sophisticated tracking skills and animal knowledge over thousands of years, which today are used by Indigenous rangers, land managers and conservationists to track animals, detect local changes in biodiversity, as well as monitor the impact of feral species and changes in populations associated with climate change. An example of a purpose-built professional app for tracking biodiversity is the Tracks app. This app was designed by the Indigenous Desert Alliance, the IDA, and was initiated as part of the Bilby Blitz program, which was an IDA project hosted by the Central Land Council. The Tracks app, which is the winner of Australia's National Science Agency, the CSIRO Award, is for Indigenous rangers to use in their jobs. It allows rangers to collect information on tracks and other signs, such as scats, diggings, burrows, bones and feathers which helps to map country where native animals are found. Many people contributed to the app design and provided feedback on prototypes, including Indigenous rangers, ranger coordinators, ranger support staff and academics. The app is used with over 19 ranger groups and has tracked more than 40 species across about 1,500 data entries. It has been extended from English and Walpuri and now includes a third language. Waramungu. In our robot animal tracker activity, students can learn about First Nations Australian animal tracking. Students or the teacher can research and create matching animal track cards, one with the animal and one with the track. 
Students can then randomly pick an animal card and navigate their robot to the correct track by programming the robot. Depending on the year level, teachers could introduce rules or requirements, such as the snake can only move via a diagonal, or the emu can jump a spot. An unplugged version of this could be to have students moving around the room as the robot to the correct cards, or they could explore the animal tracks in the sandpit. This lesson idea could cover curriculum from digital technologies and could incorporate the cross-curriculum priority, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders histories and cultures, as well as the sustainability cross-curriculum priority. Computer scientists are working with conservationists to develop technologies to monitor many of our endangered species. Conservationists would often survey animal populations using manual methods, such as going to an area and counting tracks or sightings. Conservationists survey animal populations to understand population trends, identify threats, protect endangered species, and this information is used to inform policies and ensure the health of ecosystems, ultimately contributing to effective wildlife conservation and habitat preservation. In this activity, called Find the Animal with AI, students learn about the underpinning AI technology and how it works by training their own AI model to identify an endangered species of their choice. This example compares two endangered species. However, students could train their model to predict species that are endangered and local threats, such as feral cats. In this example, we used Google's Teachable Machine as our AI training tool but you could replicate this on other similar platforms. This lesson idea could cover curriculum from digital technologies and could also incorporate the sustainability cross-curriculum priority as well as the critical and creative thinking general capability. Another context that could be used to explore sustainability is the idea of smart cities. Technology is driving the design and redesign of our future cities. Smart cities fuse technology and urban living creating efficient, sustainable, safer and connected communities while reducing human impact and improving services to the people who live in them. In our next career profile, Yolande is a digital sociologist and ethics human computer interaction professor who is investigating the sustainability and inclusion impacts of digital and smart technologies, including emerging forms of AI. She is known for her work in the field of sustainable technology and human-computer interaction. Her research often explores the intersection of technology, gender, and sustainability, examining how innovations can be designed to promote more environmentally conscious and equitable outcomes. Have you ever said, hey Google, turn on the light, or hey Siri, find me the nearest ice cream shop? Making sure this stuff is easy for people to use is where your land comes in. She's a digital sociologist, a human-computer interaction professor, which means that she studies people and how they interact with technology. As cities get smarter and more data is shared on how people are using things like electricity and public transport, researchers like Yuland can help predict how technology might change over time. This helps city planners and the organisations that serve cities, like electricity companies, to be better prepared to provide people with what they need. Hopefully, one day, that will mean less traffic jams or power outages. Pause here as you think about how you could link the context of smart cities and careers that focus on human-computer interactions to your classroom teaching and learning. Consider what other learning areas you could incorporate into your DT lessons. There are many opportunities to incorporate science into the study of smart cities, such as material science, energy transformations, and discussing how the science of smart cities is built upon previous science understanding. Statistics and data collection are vital for planning and implementing different technologies into smart cities. A vast array of data is needed, such as energy usage of households throughout different times of the day, tracking and planning for more efficient travel modes. In addition to this, city planning incorporates various space content descriptions. We are now going to have a look at a learning activity that we have in our online course that focuses on smart cities. Smart cities address sustainability pressures in innovative ways, from intelligent traffic management systems, eco-friendly waste solutions, increasing green spaces, using data to support decision making, and using renewable energy sources such as solar and wind. 
Smart cities provide real world context for learning about digital technologies. After completing research about smart cities and houses, students could collaboratively design and create a smart house of their own. The Sustainable House with Tinkercad and Microbit activity provides step-by-step -step instructions that can be downloaded as a PDF from their website. This activity could be adapted and extended to require students to establish design criteria using a user story, generate, communicate and evaluate their completed smart building, develop an algorithm and implement this using the Make Code platform to control the microbit sensors and LED strips. Alternatively, students could use Minecraft or CoSpaces to produce a 3D virtual representation of their smart environment. This activity can be used with students of various ages and can involve students defining problems and communicating and comparing their designs. Depending on the age, students can either follow algorithms or design their own and implement them as, visu as visual programs. Multiple organising ideas from the sustainability cross-curriculum priority can be covered with this lesson. Students make connections between sustainable patterns of living and design features to minimise environmental impacts. In addition to the content I've talked about today, our online course has many more ideas for DT plus sustainability, such as smart gardening, minimising our waste footprints, plus more extensive information about sustainability in the curriculum, including links and information about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. If this webinar has inspired you to consider incorporating more careers into your classroom, then the STEM Professionals in Schools program may be for you. It is a national volunteer program that facilitates partnerships between schools and industry to bring real STEM into the classroom. This is for teachers who are looking to connect with STEM professionals. Partnerships are flexible and needs-based. They work together to connect classroom learning to careers and real-world projects, or to have a STEM person come in and chat about their job. For more information about our digital technology courses, visit caesarmooks.adelaide.edu.au. You will also see on our website that we run a range of STEM programs for Australian teachers, including free professional learning events and our National Lending Library. To keep up to date with all of our news, please subscribe to our email. Thank you very much for your time today. Take care and see you soon.